I'm uh, Suze Martins. Uh, I'm the uh, designer um, Scuba Do Rag. So I'm going to show you um, two demonstrations. The first one I'm going to do is the Scuba Do Rag. So this is good to wear um, if you have long hair or if you just don't have any hair and you want to protect your head from the sun. Um, these also to identify you um, and your gear. So that's a good thing to know. So um, I'm going to show you how to put it on. If I was on a boat and I was going to go diving, the first thing I would do is just take my scuba do rag. I would just kind of ball it up like this and I would take my water bottle and just kind of sprinkle some water on there and then just kind of do this, kind of get it a little bit damp. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to take out of the equation anything that you don't know. So one of the things that you don't know if you put it on dry, you don't know how much larger it might get when it gets wet. And it's not much, but this just takes that out of the equation. So these two seams right here, if you kind of hold on to them before you put them on your head. And then what you want to do is you want to line up. Now I'm going to make this look very, very easy because I've done it a bazillion times in 20 years. So you do need to practice. Or Miss Jennifer at the Playground Dive Shop can help you. All right, so these two seams right here, they line up with my eyes. So without even having to ask a boat captain for a mirror, because you don't want to do that, I know that I've got this in the middle of my head. So what I'm going to do, I, I don't have my hair in a ponytail, but, you know, you can do that. But I'm just letting you know that if I can do this without that, that it's easily done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up underneath my hair or my ponytail and I'm gonna cross the two ties. Now, you wanna always keep these ties in your hand, so in case this starts going off the back of your head, you can readjust it. Because how you wanna start and end, before we adjust it before the mask, is you wanna have this low on your eyebrow bone. That way, if you can start watching this print get bigger, see how it's stretching across here? Then that way, it will not shift, and it won't go, it won't go off my head. So what I'm going to do is I cross it. I'm going to tie it once. <clears throat> like I said, keep the ties in your hand. So I'm tying it. So that's once. I'm going to tie it again in a knot up underneath my hair. I'm going to turn around so you can see that. So this is what I've done so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this secret compartment. This is the part of the pattern. I'm going to put that on top of my head. So now my hair is tied up underneath there. My hair used to be longer, now it's not. Um, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take my hair, and especially if your hair is really long, you wanna twist it. And instead of trying to put these loose ends first, you wanna like bend it and kinda have the folded end go in first. So I'm gonna take this, put it in here, stuff it down in there, turn it over, and just kinda shake it loose. Now I'm going to take the two ties here and I'm going to tie back on top in a knot. Voila. Okay now if I was going to put on my mask one or two ways you can do that. This seam right here has the most compression so I'm going to pull it down and then I'm going to fold it up and then this way You've got enough room for your mask seal. Um, there's, there's, you can do it that way. And then I can put my mask on like this, but you kind of have to practice. So what I like to do and what I have learned to do is to put my mask strap at the back first, pull my mask forward. Okay, so that's the scuba do rack. Now, if you don't have long hair, you can just, you don't have to pay any attention to tying up underneath your hair and all like that. You just tie it. And then sometimes too, like if I'm on an island, my hair is not naturally straight and my hair does not look good. Um, it's just really kinky and it just doesn't look good. Um, so um, a lot of times I wear it on an island all the time. But otherwise too, you can sometimes just wear the scuba do rag and you don't even have to worry about your hair. You can just kind of do this hippie thing. So that sometimes I just wear it like this and I just leave my hair out. All right, so that's the Scooby-Doo rack. Mm -hmm.